भारत देशा की पलले पटल गांधीजी माट अक्षर सत्यम मंत्री के ने की डेबई शात जनाभा ग्रामा जीवित अच्छे इंडिया को नगरा पटनाले आर्थिक इंजुन हईदराबाद नाक्रमगूड इंकेट वाश् थ्री पाइंट ओ ईवे को मंत्री के मुख्य अतिथि हाजर करोना तरह हेल्थ के सैक्टर प्राधान्य अंदर की अर्थमईंदर्भंगा अभिवृद्धि जगना अति पर्यावरण हित परश्रम प्रभु कल पे वाटर शाट हईजी रंग लक्षला उद्योग सृष्टि अट युव एंट्रप्रीन प्रोत्साहिस्म के वार उत्पत्त प्रभुत्मे मोदी कस्टमर ऐसी भरोसा One of the things I firmly believe, Mahatma Gandhi ji had famously said, that India lives in its villages. It is true. Nearly 70% of India lives in its villages, but India is actually run. India is driven. India is powered by its cities and towns. The reason why I say this is because if you take Telangana as an example, Telangana is predominantly a, a rural state also, like many other Indian states. We are about 46% urban, so that makes us. 54% rural cities and towns are our economic engines that continue to drive the growth of our great nation the growth of you know nations across the world as well urbanization suburbanization is a phenomenon that no country has been able to find a solution to in fact why do people migrate why do people urbanize why do people move from a rural setting to a an urban setting is something that is i think uh, grappled many sociologists many many you know people who study the phenomenon of urbanization it is a fact that people move in terms of uh, in search of better livelihood better economic opportunities better healthcare opportunities better educational opportunities better quality of life so to put but it is also a fact that the next 50 years will possibly see more urbanization than ever in the history of mankind so therefore the challenges you know that typically come along with rapid urbanization crumbling urban infrastructure the environment and ecology taking a huge toll is something that every government across the world is now having to come to terms with and having to have a plan to deal with you know when covid hit us in 2020 march the first two or three months when we were all under a lockdown which none of us possibly had ever envisioned i saw several videos i think i'm sure most of you would have also the videos that were go doing the rounds were that nature is actually breathing nature is actually been given a break and how dolphins have returned back into the canals in venice and how environment really and the nature mother nature itself and earth itself is breathing easy because humans have started you know spending more time at home have been locked in you know at home the point i'm trying to make is while development is important it cannot be at the cost of environment while development and growth are important it has to be sustainable it has to be in consonance with nature it has to be in sync with nature that's what sustainable development goals are all about and i'm sure many of you are familiar with it how possibly now after pandemic after this covid pandemic how healthcare is something that is on top of all of our minds and how healthcare can possibly also spur create a spurt of next wave of growth he has been telling me he has been championing the cause that water sanitation and hygiene can create millions of jobs across the world if we apply ourselves and if we actually gear up as governments as as individuals as institutions if we work together as stakeholders in this process we can actually create solutions and also employment opportunities and wealth out of nothing out of waste in fact states have to invest governments have to invest and more importantly i saw a lot of exuberant youngsters who came to me and who said sir i need an opportunity to showcase my product at a larger scale i need the opportunity to scale up i want to grow up i also want to create you know employment i want to create wealth i want my solution to change the world i promise you one thing for those of you who have been here government of telangana will be your first customer we will give you an opportunity we will ensure 
that each of your products is given a proof of concept at a larger scale. What happens then is, if it works, if it takes off, then you will have more and more buy-ins from various other, you know, uh, potential future customers and future investors. India is one country, you know, which is possibly the youngest country in the world today. You know, our median age of the nation right now is 27. Fifty percent of the population has an age of 27, average age of 27. If you actually expand it a bit, India's population, 65 percent of India is less than the age of 35. In fact, if you ask me, more than anything else, that's our biggest strength. That's the biggest, you know, strength any nation can offer to today's, uh, in today's world. The world is getting older while India is still young. We are home, in fact, to India's largest technology incubator, which is not very far from here, called as T-Hub. We are also home to India's only women entrepreneurs hub, called as the V-Hub, which is also not very far from here. And we are also home to 57 other incubating spaces, which is the largest number of, you know, uh, uh, incubators anywhere in the country for any city.